All right, guys, so we know how to create a repository. We know how to add files. We know how to commit. But there are, uh, I want to say, like three more basic commands that we need to learn. And one of them, of course, is we need to learn how to delete files. So let's just go ahead and, I don't know, what are we going to delete? Let's just go ahead and delete this uh, third file. So maybe I accidentally created uh, one too many files. We actually only need the first and the second one. So this, actually I want to mention this. There are a couple ways that you can do this, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest way, and that's this. If you type git rm and then the name of the file, which is third.txt, and, and when you hit enter, what this does is it removes the third file so now if we actually go ahead and look at tuna it's pretty cool because not only did it remove it on the repository it actually removed it on our working copy as well so usually you might think that you have to manage two different systems well this one command is actually really awesome because it takes care of everything in one shebang so the only other thing I want to mention in this so you're like alright so it's tracking that change. I'm just type git status to make sure everything's art. And check it out. It said, we deleted a file, but we didn't actually commit that change yet. And a lot of people, um, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, grasp because whenever you're just working on your computer and you delete a file, it's deleted. But what we actually need to do is we need to commit this change because remember, whenever we commit it, it's taking a snapshot of that point in time so we'll put git commit and our message is this is the point in time where we deleted third dot text and you hit enter and it commits that change so now the cool thing is whenever we want to come back to this point in time later uh, you know maybe we deleted that file by accident and we want it back then we just took a snapshot of that point in time and that point in time is where we come back to or that commit I should say so again the command is git rm which means remove and then the name of your file which is you know third text or whatever so anyways that's it really short very simple now that we understand the basics of how to delete files we're ready to move on to the next topic and uh... well i guess i'll see you then